we're here, the final stop on our Python journey of network scanners. And as always, I'm very excited today. So just to review where things are, first we made a ping sweeper. Then we built on that ping sweeper by adding port scanning functionality. We then started a new script, which allowed us to do service fingerprinting. And finally to that script, we added OS fingerprinting and file output. Okay, so we have these two scripts and they work together. And yet at the same time, we need to run the one, then gather the results and then feed it into the other one. So surely from this vantage point, it's clear that our life would be way easier if we could simply run a single script that would take care of the entire process. One script to rule them all. And that's what we're gonna do today by way of a wrapper script. So a wrapper script is more of a concept than a technical definition. There's no specific diagnostic code or structure that defines something being or not being a wrapper script. Rather, think of a wrapper as a script that does not really perform the core functions we seek to use themselves, but instead provides other ancillary benefits, like automating scripts, chaining various functions from different scripts together, simplifying a script interface, extensibility, meaning we can add new functions to existing scripts, and they can even be used to ensure compatibility between different systems or platforms. So today we'll create a wrapper script that will basically receive input from the user at command line, give that input to the first script we created, then receive the output from that script and give the output to the second script as input so that it can finally produce the output we seek. One final thing, right at the top of the description, you can find links to the actual scripts. As always, I recommend downloading it so you can focus on the lesson and not on transcription. Okay, enough with this chit chat, let's get to it. So here's the entire script. Let's have a quick look at the big picture. Our script is quite unusual, at least compared to what we've done so far. After importing our required libraries, we immediately declare our only function, being of course the main function. After some housekeeping, it's interesting to see that basically we are going to use four nested for loops to call all the required functions from our two existing scripts. I just wanted to point that out since I thought it was pretty cool from a design point of view, simple and effective. Now let's jump fully into the code. So up top we import our libraries. Sys allows us to get info from the command line. And then looky here, we are importing indeed as libraries our other scripts. So if you were not yet aware, yes, you can do that. And now since we've imported them, it means we can simply call on the functions in those scripts when we want to use them. Then we declare our main function. And immediately we check to ensure the right amount of arguments were provided at the command line. We then assign that command line input to two variables. And we call our first function from the first script to run our ping sweeper. Once our ping sweep is done, our live host variable contains all the open IPs which we then unpack right below with the first in our series of nested for loops. We scan all open ports on the open IPs using the port scan function from the same script. Once done, we'll unpack the open ports with another for loop. This will then call on the function from our other script that uses nmap to fingerprint each port. Once done, we then call on the output to CSV function, which will save all our results to a CSV file. And here we'll use one final for loop simply to unpack all the results so we can print it to terminal before exiting the script. And that's it for the script. Now let's get to the fun bit and actually test it. Sorry for that, I just need your attention for a second. Please ensure that you have permission to scan any network you intend to. I'm saying this because you could actually get in legit trouble if you don't. So either set up a VLAN or in my case, since I am a happy member of Hack the Box, I'm going to spin up one of their CTF machines, which we'll use to communicate with. And that's all I'll say in the matter. Good. And let's run our wrapper script. And just as was the case with all the other scripts, we'll run it with sudo e to preserve environmental variables. And since we're effectively starting, we'll once again provide it with a subnet and a net mask. Again, since we will be ping sweeping this entire subnet and then exploring the first 1023 ports of each live IP, I'm going to fast forward this. As we watch the script progress to terminal, we can see it running through the various phases. First discovering IPs with the ping sweep, then running the port scanner to get all the open ports. And now finally we can see that our OS and service fingerprinter is running. And our script has completed, we can see various results printed to screen. And once again, let's just check to ensure that it saved all the results in the correct format to a CSV file. And there we can see the file, let's cut out the results. And we can see that it conveniently saved all the results in a CSV format for us. Yeah. We've made it. And I want to tell you something. I'm proud of you, bro. Proud? 
proud. In just five short lessons, you created a ping sweeper and a port scanner, implemented multi-threading, implemented service and OS fingerprinting, created file output, and used a wrapper script to integrate all our great work together. Man, for real, that was dope. So I'll be taking a bit of time off to focus on my next certification, but after that I'll be back with another epic series focusing on protocol analysis. We're gonna learn how to use Python together with an app like Wireshark to unlock a whole new dimension of cybersecurity. It's obviously gonna be awesome. Peace out.